Hi, good morning students. Now I'm going to explain a problem on the locus diagram concept. Now here I have taken this problem as a variable frequency source of RMS value V of 200 volts is applied to a series circuit of uh, R and L resistance of 5 ohms and inductance of 5 milli henry both are connected in series. For this circuit, we need to draw the locus diagram considering a sample frequencies of 0, 500, 1000, 2000, 5000 radians per seconds. As we know, here this is our uh, RL series circuit, resistance of 5 ohms, inductance of 5 milli henry, both are connected in series with a voltage of 200 volts. Now here I have taken the data of RL and with the steps of frequencies from varying from 0 to 5000. It is the angular frequency. Once if you know the angular frequency omega, then we can find the inductive reactance. Here, inductance is given for which we are going to find its inductive reactance, which is measured in ohms. Then for different values of angular frequencies, I am going to find its respective angular for these corresponding angular frequencies, I am going to find its corresponding inductive reactance as XL1 is equal to omega 1 times of L given omega 1 is 0 and the actual inductance value is 5 milli henry. So just I am multiplying here 0 into 5 is equal to 0 ohms like that I am going to find all the inductive reactants for different angular frequencies XL2 omega 2 L so that I got 500 radians per second multiplied by 5 milli henry so that I got it as 2.5 ohms. Similarly for XL3 omega 3 into L 1000 angular frequency and 5 milli henry so that I got 5 ohms. Then XL4 similarly 10 ohms. XL5 similarly 25 ohms. Then here for the given case we are only changing the value of angular frequency that means XL value is changing R value is fixed. So based on this concept we are going to find magnitude of current and its phase angle to draw the locus diagram. First I am going to find the magnitude of current where this is the magnitude. Magnitude of current as I1 is equal to actually it is V by J where z is under root r square plus xl square as we know z value is equal to under root r square plus xl square for rl series circuit then i1 is equal to v by z then v value is given 200 by 5 square plus 0 then i got 40 amperes similarly i2 is equal to v by z so v is 200 z value is r square plus xl2 I uh, got XL2 value is 20, 2.5 ohms. So for that I got I2 value is 35.77. And then similarly I3 is V by Z where Z is R square plus XL3 square. So 28.28 and then I4 value is 17.88. I5 value is 7.844. Now I am going to find the phase angle of current as we know from the imprint triangle uh, phi phase angle of current phi is equal to tan inverse of xl1 by r actually it is xl by r for all different values of xl i am going to find different values of phase angles phi1 phi2 phi3 phi4 phi5 phi. based on xl values xl1 xl2 xl3 xl4 xl5 so tan inverse of xl1 by r here i got uh, 0 xl2 by r r value is fixed always r value is 5 it remains constant xl value is changing so that i got different values of phase angles now current locus diagram all uh, is nothing but the locus of joining all the magnitude and uh, phase angle of current phasors so here i'm going to take the given case is fixed r value and varying xl value so here I have taken V on X axis and for the first point I got I1 value as 40 amperes as 40 amperes 
and its phase angle is 0 degrees. So for this, I am going to take I magnitude as 40 amperes, just roughly I have taken and phi 1 value is 0 degrees. So 0 degrees phase angle means the phase angle between current and voltage both are in same phase. So that's why I have represented I1 phase R here. Next, I2 phase R. I2 phase R whose magnitude is 35.77. So which is less than 40. So just I'm going to represent I2 magnitude as 35.77. Amperes. We can draw this on a graph sheet also. I2 magnitude I have represented here and with a phase angle of 26.56. So current lags voltage by some phase angle of 26.56. So since it is an inductive circuit current lags voltage by this phase angle. Next similarly for third phase are I3 where here I3 magnitude is 28.28 and its phase angle is 45 degrees. Just I am going to represent I3 magnitude is 28.28 and with a phase angle of 45 degrees. Since all of the phasors are rotating in anti-clockwise direction, this current phasor should lag voltage by this phase angle. Similarly, I4 can be drawn, I5 can be drawn. Here if you take I5, where I5 magnitude is 7.844 and Phi5 phi value is 78.69. So finally, I am going to draw the current phasor of I5 corresponding to omega 5000 radians per second with a phase angle of 78.69. There you can see in all the cases I lags V by their respective phase angles since it is an RL series circuit, it is having inductive nature. So in this way we can solve any problem to draw the locus diagram of any given circuit based on their circuit parameters like R, L and C. Similarly, we can solve these problems also. Here in this case, it is an RC circuit for different values. Here XC is varying, R is going to be fixed. And here in this circuit, it is an RL circuit where R value is changing, XL value is going to be fixed. Now for these two cases, we can draw current locus diagrams similar to the previous case. Thank you.